Ah, well, don't be judgy. I already know. Clean up your craft space. It's dirty. It's messy. Yada, yada, yada. We'll get over it. Today, I'm just showing you how to do the sublimation onto HDB. You can do this on a t-shirt. Today, I'm using a wooden blank. I'm going to tack the HDB on just by setting it down. We're going to throw it on. I've got my press at 374. I know it's a little high, but this one drops temperature hella fast when you drop it down, so I have to go up higher. We're just going to press this for, let's say, I don't know, 10 seconds. Just long enough to get it hot enough to pull the backing off. I'm going to pause this and come right back. All right, now that we've done the pressing to get it hot enough to pull the backing off, let's pull the backing off. Voila. You now have HTV on your little wooden sign. Alright, pause this and I'll be right back in a few minutes. I gotta go print the image to put on this. Alright, well, since our sign happens to be about 8 inches by 5.75 inches, this happens to work to be on a print to cut. Meaning, you can either do like this, or you can actually do a print to cut where it cuts the letters out individually and then you can sub onto them and put a different color in the background. But for this purpose, we're just gonna do a simple, easy press. All right, so if your printer isn't already set up to automatically mirror your images for sub, obviously click this, mirror image. Otherwise, you better hope you're dyslexic because you're not gonna be able to read it. It's gonna be all kinds of backwards. But since mine's already done, I don't have to worry about that. I can go over here and click continue. Alright, uh, so, get rid of your bleed. You don't want that crap. Use system dialog. Hit print. You're gonna come over here. You're gonna go to preferences. You need to make it on premium presentation mat. Quality is high. Go to more options. Make sure your high speed's clicked off. As you see, I've already got my printer set up for mirror image. Then if you need to, you can go to advanced to change your ink settings or whatnot. I've already got an ICC profile for this particular image, so I'm going to run with what I got. Click OK. Now, make sure you have the proper printer and paper in your printer. As long as you do, go ahead and hit print. I do not. I will be back. All right, as you see, there's that stupid black box from the print to cut. This little fella right here will make things so much easier in your life. They're like six bucks on Amazon. Definitely worth getting one. Trim off your black lines. And voila, like magic, no more black lines. Nice clean edges, nice and straight, easy to place. All uh, right, now the important part. Do you see this brown paper? Don't forget to put your paper down. You can use parchment paper if you're rich, but me, I'm cheap. I hate going to craft stores. I hate going to Walmart. I go to Home Depot. You can get these rolls right here. They're, the small roll is like four bucks for 400 feet. The big roll is like six dollars for 400 feet. Can't really go wrong on that price. Always make sure after you place your image to put some more paper on top. Alright, now that you have your blank ready to go versus t-shirt, wood, whatever you're doing, it don't matter. Take your print, you're going to go ahead and line it on up on there. Let me line it up and I'll get right back to you. Now, if you're lazy like me, I go with what they call the hope and a prayer method. I don't sit there and measure my stuff out and any of that kind of stuff. I just stick it on there, eyeball it, and go with a hope and a prayer that I got it in the right place. After you're done with this, you're going to throw your next piece of paper on because you don't want to blow out all over your mats. And you're going to take your heat mat, throw it on top of that too. Once that's done, you can run the press. All right, now that everything's lined up, you're going to go ahead and set it in your press. I got mine set at 380, but this thing fluctuates like crazy. My bad. It's what you get for buying a cheap $30 power box that was used. Slam your press down. As you notice, you'll see it drop really fast on this one. That's why I set it so high. Go ahead and set it for 60 seconds. Let it run its course. Once the press is done, I'll come right back to you. 
All right, now the important part on the countdown. You need to say, Dear Baby Jesus, please hope and pray that my hope and a prayer lineup worked. We'll just press open. Throw this to the side. Grab your sticker. Boom! Now look what you got. You got an awesome little sign that says love. Um, if you're cheap like me and you want to redo stuff, you can take this old thing over, flip it over, go ahead and put some more HTV on that side and do another sign on the other side. Then you have a reversible sign. Can't get much easier than that. If you need any other pointers, don't hesitate to PM me, shoot me a message, whatever you need to do. I don't mind giving you some help.